this makes a nice little extra addition in Android Auto here and Google Maps and uh, in your app on your phone and on desktop um, that's going to be useful if you're on the road and you can have everything within here if it's accurate we'll go take a look okay this is standard EVgo charging station listing but what's this we have availability of chargers so this should come directly from the EVgo uh, data. Obviously that's not going to tell you if the place is iced or if there's an EV set in it not charging, but we'll go and take a look at the situation. Um, the J1772 listing is interesting as well because it doesn't mention that in the app, so we'll see if that is actually available. Here we go on a quick trip to Burlington Mall where we've done all kinds of uh, winter fast charging sessions and uh, looking at EVgo as well as the new Electrify America community site going in there. Um, just really to test the addition to Google Maps to see if uh, the EVgo station that's listed on there as two stations available, if that pulls through the data from the EVgo app correctly, if it looks good, um, whether the J1772 is available, all that good stuff, um, and just to see how this nice new addition to Android Auto, um, potentially very helpful for EV drivers, or at least non-Tesla EV drivers. UK, and then ChargePoint is the other one that's coming online. That'll be super helpful soon, because usually before I head out to a place, one of the many charge points locally, I will check whether they're um, available in the app, which is fine. But if it's all gonna be plugged into Android Auto, then I can do it in one swoop as I jump in the car. So charging that could just be here just now on the clarity okay so it looks like we'll have to give Google a break here because that is just listing what EVgo thinks is happening as well so this is a match a data match three units and five plugs two CHAdeMO, two CCS on the combos, and the one J1772 level two plug, but they're all available according to the EVgo up here. It's all real time, but we just drove past, and as the footage showed, there's a bolt plugged into Oliver here, CCS side, and then there's a Honda Clarity PHEV plugged into the level two. So I'm going to have another drive around to see, but as of here, 115, all of these in digital world are available and the real world is a bit different. Worth noting on the right here, this is where the Electrify America units are going in and I was able to look and see that those are community site-based chargers. So they're the 50 kilowatt units with a J1772 plug as well. So there will be five CCS plugs, one CHAdeMO and one level two. Um, that's kind of consistent. This isn't really a major route, interstate route. It's near I-95, but not near a bunch of places that you wouldn't be able to get a charge otherwise. So it uh, makes sense that that's what would go in here. But that'll be nice, close um, competition for EVgo, even if it is significantly more expensive. Yep, so there you go. 
same cars. Honda Clarity plugged in. So there you go, you're only as good as the data you get. The uh, the EVgo units behind me, whilst they say on the EVgo app and the EVgo website and the associated feed through to Android Auto and Google Maps, um, that everything is available. You could, you know, rock up and plug into any of those things. Hooray, free free charging or, you know, free available plugs. That's great. The reality on the ground is a little bit different. There's uh, Bolt EV, the Uber or Lyft, I guess, uh, plugged into the Oliver CCS and a um, Honda Clarity PHEV plugged into the level two plug. So not available. All right, well, that didn't work so well, but we'll see. Maybe the data feed is just a little anomaly there and normally that'll work quite well. It doesn't matter too much for now because you can still you know, swing by if it's local charging, that's probably fine. But uh, if you're on a road trip, I wouldn't want to rely on uh, looking at Android Auto and hoping that those listings are correct. But there you go, still working out some of the kinks. It's going to be a great new feature, I think. Eventually, once all this stuff gets baked into Android Auto and you can kind of plan on the go, 